All right. I am here in person at my apartment <laughs> with uh, Katie Sullivan, who uh, is quickly making a name for herself in the bridge world. Uh, she was on the USA2 Rona Cup team this summer, playing in the World Youth Team Championships. She uh, won the uh, B border match at that <laughs> tournament. I was her and her partner's uh, partnership coach, and she is the president of Who's Playing Bridge. Uh, and she's looking at me like, are, do you, are you going to, is that the end of the introduction? Uh, so Katie, we first met in Providence, Rhode Island mm -hmm. at the summer NABC uh, in the summer of 22. And then like a month later, I got a text <laughs> from Michael Shu, your bridge mentor at Amherst. Mm -hmm. And I forget what his exact words of the text were, but I was super fired up because you were transferring to UVA. We're here in Charlottesville and you've got like 41 kids apparently showed up to- More than that, more than that. More than that. Yeah, uh, I think we had 49 at our first meeting. In our second meeting, we had 47. Strong. Yeah, don't short us, John. So this is uh, this is who's it's called you you call yourselves who's playing bridge. Uh huh. Um, so you came to UVA as a second year mm -hmm. last year, and you did you know anybody at UVA? No, no, of course not. Uh, why would I do anything that had any <laughs> safety whatsoever? <laughs> no, I um, didn't know anybody. I'd never, I'd been to Virginia before. I'd never been to Charlottesville before. Um, my aunt did go here uh, a while back. Um, she's a very proud UVA alum. She did her undergrad here, um, but she doesn't live here. She lives in Connecticut, so I didn't know anyone. <laughs> And I don't remember if, so we were in touch mm -hmm. and I don't remember if it was from you. I think I got it from like a, a third party. Mm -hmm. But so what you oh. did is you wrote in chalk mm -hmm. on like sidewalks around grounds mm -hmm. tell, to tell, tell us. Yeah. So coming to UVA, I knew like bridge, even, even though it was like a once a week kind of thing at Amherst, I loved Providence so much. And so I knew coming to VA that I wanted to start a bridge club. Um, I had done my research. I knew there was not one. I knew there wasn't like any kind of card club whatsoever. So um, I basically just needed a way to figure out like if there was anyone else on grounds who went to VA who played bridge. Um, so what I devised was um, I went to the store, I bought sidewalk chalk and I walked, I woke up one morning at like 6 a.m. on a Sunday and I walked like literally all over grounds and I chalked um, like a, like, like, have you seen those got milk campaigns that they had in like high schools <laughs> where it's like got uh, a really short message yeah. to try to yeah. get people to drink milk? That was like the inspiration behind the uh message but it was just like light cards play bridge and then like a tiny url where you could give me your like number and your contact information or whatever um and because i didn't want people to think that it was like some sort of engineering club yeah most people hear bridge like that's yeah. the first thing everyone asks right. me if i'm a like you know civil engineer who's really passionate um <laughs> And yeah, so that was how I met um, some of the people who started out in my club, the most important of whom being Alan Hale, who is my VP. Is that an elected position? Uh, or is this a dictatorship? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, like, eventually, perhaps it will become some sort of, I mean, it's hard to give it any kind of, like, official structure right now because it's so new um 
so I kind of just like named him my vice president. <laughs> but was that last year or this year? Last year, mm. last year, yeah. Because uh, to be to be a CIO, which for those of you who don't know is uh, like a registered student organization at UVA, um, you have to have uh, well, you actually you have to have a president and a treasurer. And so I said, Alan was the vice president treasurer. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Um, were you embarrassed at all when you were like, you did it at six in the morning, which I think was smart because <laughs> you, you, there's not a lot of people on a Sunday that yeah. are like six in the morning, but were you embarrassed at all to, to be doing the chalk stuff? Uh, I mean like, no, honestly, I, well, first of all, no one was awake yeah. until like 10 AM cause it was a Sunday morning <laughs> at a college. But, um, n no, I mean like if anybody saw me writing stuff it would be really nice to yeah. have someone be like oh like, right. what are you writing right like that might be an yeah. easier way to convince them to, for sure yeah and so when did you do that i feel like you i feel like you came i didn't really hear much and then i kind of was surprised when i saw the uh when i saw um, the the writing i think it was in september so I, I think it was like the beginning of september so it was um I had been here for two weeks, maybe three weeks, uh, because I, like, I mean, obviously when I first got here, I didn't even know where anything was or, like, what the main medium was for that. At Amherst, I, like, never would have chalked because that wouldn't, like, there was no sidewalks anywhere, <laughs> first of all. And, like, second of all, like, people just didn't communicate that way. Mm. So it took me a couple weeks to get acclimated and, like, make a game plan for how I was going to do this. Was there any every point where you were wavering on whether or not you were going to no. do it? No, I mean, I knew I wanted to play bridge and I didn't think there was like another way for me to be able to do that. So, I mean, it's a hu it's like, I mean, it's not a huge school, but it's 16,000 undergrad. Like that's, yeah. that is a lot. Yeah. Um, and plus there's graduate kids who could still also be playing bridge. Like I, I thought like somebody on somebody at the school has to play bridge. Like even if I end up just finding four people and we just kind of play, yeah. you know, yeah. once a week, like whatever. But I, I knew that I wanted, you know, I wanted other students to play bridge with and this was the best way I could think of to find them. Were there other people that had done chalk that you saw? Like, is that where yeah, it's, it's, okay, it's yeah. a big thing at UVA. Uh, um, it's, I mean, it's mostly, done around the first year um dorms yeah because like you know those are the kids who are more open impressionable to all those kinds of things. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but yeah like also like in centers around campus like chalking is like a pretty good way because it's like everyone's gonna walk by it yeah. and chalk is really cheap yeah. um you don't have to really design anything it's a it's a really convenient communication method so for pedestrian, every college, yeah. you know, if you have a lot of, if you have a campus that's like, <laughs> has a lot of sidewalks. We're like, using yeah. UVA words here, like grounds mm -hmm. is, is a UVA word. We don't call it mm -hmm. campus. We also don't say freshman, sophomore. We say first year, mm -hmm. second year. There's some of that. Uh, did you like see somebody else's chalk and go, oh, that's what I'm going to do? Well, I mean, I didn't see it. Like, the stuff that I saw wasn't necessarily for, like, student group. Like, it wasn't, like, the same kind of stuff. But, like, people will chalk for, like, um, UVA sports events. Like, there's some really elaborate chalk, chalk that goes up. Or, like, random talks sometimes. Actually, funnily enough, a lot of the religious student groups do a lot of chalking. <laughs> but, um, Bridge is kind of like a religion. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, have you talked to like there like obviously I know you've talked to Jacqueline uh, Cole mm -hmm. and also there's this kid who's at UT Austin who posted on Bridge Winners shortly after you wrote a great article uh, kind of summarizing your first year mm -hmm. as a bridge club uh, president or founding a bridge club mm -hmm. which is on Bridge Winners which we'll link to in our show notes do, have you spoken to the kid at, at UT Austin about like uh, 
you know, how to get the word out or like your chalking experience. Do you know experience. the name of the kid at ETL? Are you th- is it Rory? I don't actually, else? I don't know what his name is. He just posted on Bridge Winners and people linked. Was it his own it, post? Yeah, it was like a, oh. a, it was probably a week after you posted. Oh, and I don't people, think I saw it. People, really? Yeah, people now I'll have linked, to go look at it. Oh, people linked to your article. Like that was the really? first comment was a link to your article. Yeah. I love that. I'm well, glad people thought that it would be helpful to. I mean, it's a great resource. Are you kidding? Like, yeah. You, I well, mean, it's a great article. I mean, and I and I think you know people. I mean, I post on Bridge Winner sometimes and get mm-hmm. crickets. <laughs> you got like a lot of response, as you should mm-hmm. have, because you know, I mean, I think it's really exciting to see what you've done. Like, and we'll, we'll go back, but like fast forward. This is your second year at UVA. You're a third year student, and. You guys have CIO status. So now mm-hmm. you're like, like last year you couldn't even go to the club fair because you didn't, mm-hmm. you weren't like properly viewed in the eyes of the university. Mm-hmm. Now you are and like take us to that. Yeah. So yeah. So we got CIO status. It was such an arduous process, but we finally got it at the end of last semester. Um, and we actually, they didn't add us to the, um, like the listserv of CIOs. So when they were registering like student groups for the CIO fair, we didn't get an invitation to register. So we actually had to scramble. Like we, we, we got a spot, but yeah. uh, we had to beg for it because <laughs> uh, we almost didn't. But, um, but whose fault was that? Was it the university's uh, fault? I mean, it was, it was just an administrative error. Got it. I mean, yeah, it's not. Good thing you caught it. Yeah, yeah. Which actually, we caught it because uh, Alan is also on the exec of Scuba Club, <laughs> and so they sent out a message about like, "Oh, this is where our table is." And Alan was like, "Hey, you should look into this." And I was like, "Uh um, oh." Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, but That's great. Um, yeah, it was the CIO fair was like a huge boost because. Last semester, our like the makeup of our group, it was basically like so. Alan is a trumpet in the UVA marching band, yeah, um, which is a really big thing here. And so, pretty much everyone else was also a UVA trumpet. <laughs> um, and then there was one pair who had played at home, but one of them was also a UVA trumpet. And then there was one pair who one of them was roommates with one of my sorority sisters <laughs> and they had played bridge. And so, uh, and she was actually starting a, uh, thinking of starting a bridge club and then had heard that like oh, wow. I had done that. So she, yeah. Um, but, um, the CIO fair was like game changing because now are we still like a lot of UVA trumpets? Like, yeah, we got a lot more UVA trumpets. We actually got put on the official UVA trumpet social calendar like in their announcements, they announced like 2 p.m. Bridge Club on Sunday. Oh, wow. <laughs> which is fun. But um, it's a lot of kids who aren't UVA trumpets too. Yeah. Um, which is which is really good for like future prospects of yeah. like growing the club and also just making it like a club in its own right. It's not just something that, right. you know, right. it's just <laughs> the, the trumpets do more fun on the side. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. Like a lot more people were stopping by than I thought would. We had like over a hundred people fill out the interest form, which like, you know, we weren't expecting that all those people were going to come at all. We thought like, okay, like a quarter of those people will come and then like, we'll try to retain most of those people. Um, but yeah, like half of them showed up, which was crazy. Um, this is at your first meeting. So when when was yeah. so today it's September sixth, mm-hmm. and you guys had when was the 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 fair? The fair was August twenty sixth. And then you had your first session that Sunday. No, no the fair couldn't have been August twenty sixth. Uh, our first session was August twenty seventh, which is a Sunday. I'm pretty sure. And then you had one this past Sunday, mm-hmm. and you had four. How, what what did you say? How many people came? Our first one, 49, and our second one, 47. And 100 people signed up at the fair. Yeah. So just to give you some context, like I live in Charlottesville. I've said on this podcast before that I wanted to 
starter bridge club at UVA. The mm-hmm. last time we had one, there was a kid named Sam Goldberg, mm-hmm. and he probably graduated eight or nine years ago. Mm-hmm. And so just selfishly, I wanted UVA to have a bridge club. Mm-hmm. So probably four years ago, I went to the fair. Really? Yeah. How did you swing that? Just as I just... I, I was in contact, I think, with some UVA students about that had another club. Oh. And so I just went to the fair. <laughs> not with like a booth or anything. Oh, my God. But I just went <laughs> and like talked to students <gasps> about like the possibility of playing Did you bridge. bring flyers or anything? No. You just kind of some no. guy. <laughs> I just rolled up there. And let me tell you, people were like, what are you doing? <laughs> so the fact that we have a legit booth uh-huh. with a hundred students signing up uh-huh. is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just wanted to like feel it out. I just wanted to see yeah. what's going on. Yeah. There, there was this girl, Tammy Leone, Melina, mm-hmm. who was the queen of bridge a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. And I was really trying to get her to come to UVA. Yeah. So I thought if she comes to UVA, you know, she's going to, She's a she, part of the reason she won the Queen of Bridge is because she actually she's Michael's year. Oh, really? And yeah, Michael. Yeah. Like Michael my did year, not get mean? the King of Bridge. Ah. She she got it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Why haven't I met her then? Well, she goes to Princeton. She doesn't go here. I mean, yeah, I, OK, but I haven't met her. Well, I don't know that she I, like she was she's from Mexico. And part of ah. the reason that she got. The award is because she mm. was teaching younger people. And so... Mm. Uh, Got you. Wow. She took a gap year. Mm. And so I was trying to get her to come to UVA. But mm. anyway. Yeah. Um, but now you're here, which mm. is, I mean, fantastic. And you're doing it. Like, you're yeah. you're doing it. It's called Who's Playing Bridge. Uh, you guys have an Instagram page. Oh, we do. And it is incredible. So if you're on Instagram, you should follow it because they're doing a great job with it. Agreed. Yeah. I tried to run that. Like, I think I started, I like made it for like the second semester, uh, last sem- like the beginning of the spring. And I did like, I mean, I did a fine job. I passed it off to somebody else as quickly as I could. You know, he did maybe a little bit of a better job, but like, we convinced some of the um, – there are now second years now to take it over, and yeah. they're, like, blowing me away. Like, I could never in a million years have done what they're doing, um, and it's great. Yeah, it's I really mean, great. I, like, I've been out of town both of these weekends, mm. and I'm going to be out of town this weekend, but I'll probably come <laughs> next weekend if I'm uh-huh. welcome. Like, you guys have basically had, like, all, all hands on deck sort of yeah. sort of situation. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Um I mean, because like, like that's a lot of people yeah. to teach. You know, I don't think I've ever had like before our first meeting this semester. I'd never had, uh, like we'd never had a ta- like a time when there was more than three tables. Three tables was kind of our max, and at Amherst too, like that was also the max. I don't, I don't wow. think there'd ever been four tables. Wow. Uh, so not only did I have like no experience, but I had no like. I couldn't even visualize like what yeah. it would look like to try to juggle that many tables. Yeah. Um, and basically what it looked like is I took everyone who had like been like new, like ish the rules of bridge kind yeah. of maybe and was like, you're going to facilitate this table. You're going to facilitate that table and you're just going to teach them what you know. Do your best. Um, I tried <laughs> to give them a curriculum. It's a little bit hard to do that because um like last semester, like we didn't, I mean, they know how the game works. You're talking about the people who were with you last right, year. Right, right. Yeah. So, yeah. Because um, for the most part, um, a lot of those kids like were with it for one semester. Yeah. Like I had yeah, them last yeah, semester yeah, yeah. mostly. So they know, um, they know mostly how the game functions. They kind of understand like dummy and like they know what a bidding box looks like they know how to use it uh some of them maybe remember what a high card point is and how to count one but like yeah. that's like right. basically what we've got right. um so <laughs> so yeah like i mean basically they taught they taught their tables exactly what they knew and then uh that was like the entire 
first meeting. And then the second meeting, um, and I, I was just like jumping from table to table the yeah. whole time, making yeah. sure that everything was going smoothly and, yeah. you know, answering questions here and there as much as possible. Um, and the second meeting, we, like, I was planning it with, um, like, the rest of the team that I brought to Chicago. Yeah. Um, and we decided, like, we needed to formalize it a little bit more yeah. because it was so crazy last time because we hadn't, we did not anticipate how many people were going to come. So we made, like, a whole slide presentation, um, and it was really awesome. It was well put together. We gave them, like... Uh, we, we recorded attendance via QR code. We gave them like QR codes for Tricky Bridge and for BBO. And um, then we basic and we like introduced ourselves and then we were like, okay, here is like, you may have been wondering, how do I decide like what suit to set as Trump? Yeah. We want at least eight cards. Here's yeah. why that's golden. Yeah. <laughs> and um. And then we kind of did the same thing. We kind of just, you know, people were ish shorted by ability, self-selected. Yeah. Um, we had an interest form to see how, like, seriously people want to take bridge. Yeah. Um, eight kids were like, I want to be really serious. I want to go to nationals. Like, I want, wow. I like, <laughs> which is cool. And totally. um, yeah, we have not planned out Sunday yet, but we will do that. In the next couple of days. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. Yeah. How long is the how long are the meetings? So the okay. So the rule is you should come for an hour. Okay. That's like and when people ask me like that question and I'm trying to convince them to come, yeah. I say, if you come, you should come for at least an hour. Yeah. And that's officially like how long the club lasts. Mm. But I don't think I've ever had a week where people weren't there for at least two, two and a half hours. Wow. Yeah. Um, this goes back to last year that the meeting was mm -hmm. like you were suggesting yeah. an hour. Yeah. And, in, <clears throat> and including now, I mean, we've had tables like <laughs> really stay for like many, like a really long time. Um, basically, I cut it off when I have to go to chapter at five. Uh, for my sorority, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and if there are still people there who That's really want to keep playing, I'm like, you can keep the supplies. You just better be on time next week. Do you have bidding boxes for all 40 plus people? We we don't have enough to have like four at each table, but like you can share. I think we have enough for like half that. I think we have like, mm. and, and we've gotten like, uh, the local club, the JBA, which is in Charlottesville, yeah. um, they gave us some to use. We also have some from um, Forrest Swope, who also works at EVA. And uh, we also have some that I got when I did the best practices teacher certification. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but bridge supplies are a little bit hard to... I mean, you also yeah, really like only need one so. bidding box. Yeah. Like, you can just pass it around. It's not, yeah. such, a, it's not yeah. such a burden. Yeah. I and, mean, we have enough decks of cards and that's what really matters. And what are you hearing <laughs> from the both the people who were with you last semester about mm -hmm. the teaching? Like, are they enjoying that? Mm -hmm. And then from the beginners and, and are there any of new people who actually like have played bridge before? So that's a three part question. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's a very, <laughs> um, so we did have a form that Alan sent out that was like, what did you think of bridge club last semester? And what would you want to change this semester? And, uh, <laughs> I feel like most of the responses were just like the snacks. Like I love bridge club. Let's keep it all the same. Can we get more Oreos or something like that? Um, so I don't know how, like, I mean, but, um, God, John, I can't remember all three parts of that question. Um, I, we, are they enjoying have, teaching? Are they, are, are they enjoying, yeah, oh, do they, are yeah. they like, do they miss playing? Like, or is it well, cool because I mean, they kind of can share their knowledge? A lot of them are still kind of playing because there are so many tables that like mm. sometimes like. There's like a teacher slash player at the yeah, table. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
especially because like i've been trying to group people somewhat by ability level mm. um because like if people come in like to the second meeting this they couldn't make the first one but they still have no idea how to play bridge like yeah. you don't want to put those people with Right. People who already know what they're doing a little bit. Yeah. Because um, you don't want to bore anyone, have them disengage and then not come back. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's been really, I mean, I think ev everyone who I've talked to about it has really, really enjoyed it and has felt like really proud that they're like, you know, teaching people mm. and like they seem to be enjoying it and they're coming back and yeah. like, you know, seems like it's going really well. Um, and like, I think they'll all be about, I mean, they're, they're all like becoming close to a similar level. Um, you know, maybe the kids from last semester have a little bit more card sense, a little bit more knowledge about card play techniques, but, um, I think we'll probably like starting this Sunday, I think we're gonna, having looked at the interest form having thought about like what kids seemed really interested, what kids seemed like they were picking things up really quickly. Um, we'll start grouping people a little bit more and um, then, you know, I think like they might be facilitating at a table or they might not be, we might not need that. They might just, you know, I might just be managing it all by jumping around and they're like learning at the same pace as the people that they kind of taught how to play. Um, we have not, I mean, we've gotten like a very small amount of kids who have played bridge before. Um, I think like definitely two, like this, sem uh, this semester at least, definitely two. I don't know if there's any more. Um, there's one student who played spades and thought he knew what bridge was, but like didn't actually. Yeah. But, um, but I mean, I think that's like in some ways that's kind of a blessing in disguise because they can get into it with, along with everyone else. There's mm. no like kind of barriers, like social barriers erected right. because of that. Yeah. Um, and they can feel engaged in the same, like at the same level, yeah. they don't feel bored because there's no one else who actually knows how to play bridge. If there were some kids who actually really knew how to play bridge, then I'd have to take some of my best teachers who I've like, you know, the people who I took to Chicago with me and like have them play with them. And then I would be <laughs> really like a little more stressed, but yeah. yeah. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this semester really excited <laughs> yeah i think the enthusiasm i mean we've got some good faculty support mm -hmm. um, yeah we've got alumni who mm -hmm. are engaging uh so absolutely if any alumni are listening to this please reach out to katie or me uh katie you, you know you're on bridge winners so they can message yes. you <laughs> they can message you there uh we're looking to uh send a team to uh, absolutely the collegiates, but also mm -hmm. the, there's the Georgia Tech tournament mm -hmm. in February. And so there's going to be some fundraising mm -hmm. around that. Um, I mean, last year it was, I remember it was, it was a pleasant surprise for me that you actually had people that had played some bridge before, which I think was yeah. probably good because. Yeah, definitely. You know, you were not just carrying all the water, so to speak, in terms of, yeah. like, you know, they could. They they had an and they and they're playing at the local bridge club now, yeah. which which is great. Yeah. Well that's I mean, that's one of the things that I'm proudest of doing. Cause like I mean, the so two pairs, um, plus Alan knew how to play bridge uh when they met me. Um Alan like knew how to play bridge. Like he was like a genuine, like he played in the Y and ABC in in Providence. Um and the other four knew the rules of bridge and the mechanics of the game and like that you should open five of a major and three of a minor yeah. and respond for major and that and like high card points right. and like that was what they knew yeah um but like really quickly i got um like four of that group of five to you know go to mo multiple local games like 
the same semester, right. um, which is awesome and spurred so much love of bridge on the part of like I got two of those to join USBF. They're starting uh, I don't know, whenever that starts up <laughs> in a week or so, um, you know, um, that's Cade and who mm-hmm. else? And Alan. And Alan. Yeah. He hadn't been, he had just done it kind of in I high school. I thought Alan was going to be Hunsies. less. I thought Alan told me in Chicago that he was going to be not having as much time for bridge this, this uh, year. That- everyone always says that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't know. You get the bridge bug. You can't shake it. Yeah. Exhibit um, A. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So true. Um, I, I meant to look up. I meant to go on BBO before we had this conversation because I wanted mm-hmm. to look up when you joined. Uh I don't. I don't know when I joined. It probably twenty twenty. Probably during COVID. Because your mom plays bridge. Yeah. You've got a sister that plays a little bit. I think. Yeah. Well, my mom. My mom's played bridge. I think since twenty eighteen. She like plays in the local club games. Um. Shout Semi out regularly. to what is your mom's name? Kristen. <laughs> Kristen Sullivan. <laughs> yeah. She's down um, in Vero Beach. Mm, yes, yeah, she is. And racking she's... up black points at the <laughs> Vero Beach Bridge Club. <laughs> is she a life master? No, no. She she like actually she pro- she might. I mean, I have no idea how close Probably she is, but she told me she had like way like a certain number of whatever master points she has she told me what she had and i was really surprised i was like oh my gosh how do you even earn that much but um how many master points do you have well i mean i don't regularly check it probably like 90 but i got the first of those um i got six tenths of those over winter break while i was at amherst and then the your first year your freshman year of college mm-hmm. That, and was, then, that was your first master points mm-hmm. with your mom? Um, no, no, no. It was online with um, Betty Humans, who is um, – her brother plays with my mom, and uh, they both live up to – Betty Humans is, like, the head of our – of District 112 in – or no, in U- unit. of Unit 112 in District 4, which is up in New York, yeah. where I used to live. Right. Um and yeah so i played like one random game with her i i think she was supposed to be playing with someone else and i was filling in or maybe she was doing it as a favor to me because i was so desperate to play bridge and had no one who would play with me (laughs) Um, but yeah i got six tenths of a master point from that and then i didn't get any until i played with michael in providence and we got a bunch Mm. uh and then probably the next ones i earned were with you i mean (laughs) Yeah. Tell, tell me about Michael, like meeting Michael at Amherst. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's so funny talking about Michael in the bridge world because uh, he's just perceived in a very different way, I guess. And he definitely acts very differently as well. But um, at Amherst, Michael is like the guy. Like he's the guy in in our year that everybody knows. He's the guy that like connects everybody um you know big mike yeah yeah big mike (laughs) um yeah so the i mean i don't think michael remembers meeting me the first two times that we met but the first time he like it was like we were all like at a talk one of the professors was giving that was like she wrote a book that she was talking about and then we were all being introduced like it was like our first day at amherst and the end he stood up and like he he to ask for the mic to ask a question and like the first like 90 percent of was just a speech about <laughs> him and how happy he was to be here and how much he loved everyone already <laughs> and <laughs> then at the end he asked some like question <laughs> i don't even remember um, and he was wearing he was wearing a bridge shirt when he did it uh, so i was like oh like yeah. first of all you know funny kid and second of all bridge um then later did he have a I, perm at that time no, no. Is this free perm. That's 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 a uh, that's a new thing. Um, <laughs> no. Um, and then and then I bumped into him another time, like in the line at the dining hall, and he was wearing a bridge shirt, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, you play bridge?" He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna start a club," and I was like, "You should invite me for sure, cause I play bridge." Yeah. 
But yeah, no, he forgot both of those times, um, <laughs> which is fine. Um, and the third time we like were, I don't know, like I somehow ended up on some some dorm floor that wasn't my dorm was yeah. having like, uh, they were hanging out yeah. basically uh, and listening to music or something. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> um, one of my friends was there and somehow I, or maybe I was like going to meet somebody there. I have no idea. But I ended up seeing Michael and talking to him for like a really long time, desperately trying to follow as he described uh, some like article he'd written about the Monty Hall problem. And like, I was like, yeah, I know Bridge. Like I, I, and I, yeah, totally didn't follow like most of what he was saying, but I tried really hard to. <laughs> um, and yeah, even still, he forgot about me, did not invite me to Bridge Club. I missed the first meeting. And I was not happy, but went to the second meeting. When did he start? When did he start his club? Oh, uh, somewhere in the first month of school. And how did Amherst do at the collegiates uh, this past year? Did they play uh, the like in Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think they brought a team. Really? Yeah, I don't think they brought a team. Um, I think they brought. What's going on with that? Michael didn't have a team? <laughs> uh, yeah, Michael actually only played in the last day of the Collegiates. He was playing in... Um, Hot shot. He was playing in uh, the thing that he won, I think. Oh, the 0 to 2,500 or something. Yeah, zero yeah, to yeah. 0 yeah. 5,000, one of those, yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, so, yeah, they, had, they, had, they definitely had some people um, because, like, my UVA kids, like, were like glowing about them. They loved mm. the Amherst kids, mm. but um, I think they just came. I think they had like two pairs, three pairs. But you guys had a team. We did. Uh, you uh, would have made the knockout oh. stage if not for uh, a miss bid <gasps> by oh. the uh, the uh, by Alan. Uh, he bid. Your your suit was hearts, mm -hmm. and he bid six spades yeah. by accident, and so that was the difference between qualifying no, for the top eight. It was so painful too because so this is like the last hand right before. Oh my god! Literally, the last and hand. not only so Michael has come to kid me. Oh no! First of all, second of all, um, <laughs> That's <the> another <laughs> another bridge club member, Kate Bachman, actually yeah. we met. She came to the basketball game yeah. that one time, and um, she was there kibbing Alan oh because she God. lives in Chicago. So yeah. she like stopped by and slept over in our hotel room at night. Oh my God! Um, and so like this is like the most important hand, but he's so distracted, or maybe he's nervous. I don't know that he like just accidentally bid six spades and like. While I'm in the tank for 10 minutes, like, like, okay, not 10 minutes, but it was a long time. And I'm like, clearly agonizing, like agonizing. <laughs> and yeah, it's just like, la -di -da, like, like nothing, like does not notice. He at doesn't all. realize he's missed. Does not notice at all. So, and yeah, I was. Did yeah. you think about bidding six no Trump? I think the story was that you can make well, six no, right? No, no, no. You can't, no, you can't make six no. Six no is way down. Oh. Um, Seven hearts is also down. Mm. Either way, it's like it doesn't matter what I bid, uh, right, you're, you're because smart. either way, we go down and they make their right. slam contract and like yeah. now. Who is this against? Like, oh, it was the second Georgia Tech team. Mm. Yeah, it was just yeah, it was just it was just painful. Georgia Tech's got a lot of teams in those. I mean, Georgia Tech's I, yeah. the bridge well, program yeah. down there is pretty. It's incredible. Pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like. I'm I'm happy for that team that they got to compete and um you know but like it 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 did it would have been really really exciting for us to have been like yeah. a club that just started and I mean it's exciting <laughs> that you got that but, close honestly yeah 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 well I mean this this collegiate nationals I want to bring at least one team and I told them like. I fully 100% expect us to get a travel package and to queue and like to do really well because like I know we can. How do you get the travel package? Um, they have like online tournaments basically where you compete for them. And I think there are like eight teams get travel packages, which is as many 
as for the as qualify for the knockouts. Yeah. So if I know we can qualify for the knockouts, I know we can win one. And then, you know, we can use that to help other people get there. Who's the most like I think probably Cade is the is the person mm. that's most into bridge besides you. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. Cade um, Johnson, right? That's his mm-hmm. last name. Yeah. Um yeah, Cade is actually like our VP finance kind of. Um he's definitely a f- well he's a, he's an exec member and like maybe we haven't fully defined his position in the constitution yet. But um he's it's been so great having Kate in the club because he um, he really like got really into bridge like really fast, yeah. which is so nice to see. Yeah. <laughs> like someone who like also yeah. was really into bridge um, because I met him and like I actually think I met him at the end of the fall semester, but he like didn't know much beyond the mechanics of bridge, and now he's joining USBF and he's like. He's he's getting he's improving at at a rate that I'm really happy with. He's um done a bunch of things too. Like I know he's been a little bit in contact with Gavin Wolpert. Yeah. Um I'm trying to I, I think that he and Alan are gonna play in Gavin Wolpert's Tuesday games. Yeah, the free Tuesday online. games, three and Kate, PM. <laughs> yeah. BBO. Kate really wants to do that. Who and does? Na- Cade. Oh, Cade. And, and Alan. We played like, in it one day. Cade and I played in it Right, one time. right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but oh my gosh. Cade also has this document where he like tracks his like bridge statistics. And it's like the most intricate thing I've ever seen. It's wild. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know. He's using it to like I- I help improve a bridge. I, <laughs> I can never do something that organized. But um, yeah. Kate and I played at the, so one of the problems locally is that the only bridge games mm. are 1230 on Wednesday and Friday, which conflicts with a lot of students' schedules. So there's a bridge club in Waynesboro, which is about 30 minutes away mm-hmm. that you guys go to sometimes. And they only have mm-hmm. two games a month. Mm-hmm. Ideally, we'd have a night game in Charlottesville that the students could play in, mm-hmm. which uh, we sh- I'd love for to figure out a way to do that. Yeah. Um, but I played in Waynesboro with Cade, and he overcalled two clubs on a four card suit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when and was this? Was this the first time you played with him? I've only played with him once. Well, yeah, I, we played online once, so I played in person with him once. Okay. okay and okay. I remember being like, as the, we're playing the handout, he's declaring, and I'm like, how many <laughs> clubs does he have? <laughs> Uh, but he was not bothered by, you know, like I'm mm-hmm. preaching six, you want to have six clubs to overcall at the two level. Cade <laughs> did it with four. And then him and Zach, uh, won the Waynesboro club game. They did. Uh, when they said that, when they texted me that I did not believe them. <laughs> like, cause they're both like, they're both real jokers, you know? So I, I like, didn't even like give it any credence whatsoever. And they were like, no, like seriously, like they texted me pictures <laughs> of the results. I was like, those are doctored. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, that was wild. Like I called them as they were driving home and they were, they were really, really happy. And I was really, really proud. Was this when you were in the Netherlands for the juniors? No, but I was in Florida. Mm. Yeah, it was after school had let out and I had already. Yeah, they were playing in the sectional uh, that we had at JBA like a month ago. And mm-hmm. I remember being, it's so cool, you know, because I feel like it's one thing to play at a club with other students. Mm-hmm. You know, that's great. Mm-hmm. But once people actually start playing in sanctioned games, mm-hmm. then they can really like compound their learning. Yeah. And they meet other people. And I just think that's so you know, like it's so exciting to see, yeah, to see that. Well, that's, I mean, that's connecting though. That's, that, that's what is bringing youth bridge like into the bridge world. You know, if you're just playing at a college club, you're not like you play bridge, but you, you're, you're not like a part of the, like, it's not necessarily that in and of itself going to make you make that part of your life, like going forward Yeah, as like, knowing what the experience at a local club is like. I mean, duplicate games like really like completely change the way that 
you look at the game. Totally. You um, get a hand record, you get mm-hmm. other people's results to compare and you're like, wait, mm-hmm. how did they do that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's one of my main goals um, this semester is bringing as many kids as I can to the local duplicate games and to other duplicate games like nationals and um, sectionals and as much as I can. Do you know what it would take? Like, do you, I know you've done some class, like some teaching classes, but you don't have like, in order to like start a game on a weeknight here mm-hmm. in Charlottesville, do you know, like, do you, do you have to be a direct, do you know anything about Yeah, that? I mean, you have to be a director. You have to get a sanction from the ACBL to like have a game and you can't change the time. Uh, if you do, you have to get a sanction for another game. Um, and, uh, do you also have like, there's like a fee you have to pay to the ACBL and then there's also a per table fee. So it's like a lot to set up yeah. and it's something that's like, I did look into it over yeah. the summer, but we didn't even decide to set bridge club meetings to Sundays at 2 PM right. until like a week before. Yeah. Like we were writing stuff on the, on the poster and we were like, Probably Sundays at 2 p.m. Because, like, college kids don't know their schedule. Yeah. And so trying to plan something like that is a little bit mm. difficult. And, like, the idea of having to get it re-sanctioned, like, right. every time we need to move it, like. Well, there's, like, Nan Massey used to have a game on Monday nights. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wonder if uh, it might be worth talking to her mm-hmm. about that. It was a. But it was full 20, like we would play 24 boards. Mm-hmm. Um, must have been started at 6.30, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it is it is nice to have, like, another component of the local games, too. Is like, if we had a duplicate game where it was mostly UVA kids, um, they're not getting their butts kicked. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, there's there's really something to, like, going to a game... And yeah. realizing that every single person in this room knows more than you. Right. Yeah, and, that's true. you know, yeah. that that's really like, is I think we could kids. get local people to come though. I mean, I think if there yeah. were, if they, I, enough. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, gosh, you guys are going to Waynesboro and you get <laughs> like three tables. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, and you're driving 30 minutes each way, which, uh, I mean, not to, not that I want to put them out of business, but I mean, you guys are keeping them in business. And it seems silly that we don't have something here. Mm. Uh, I I really would like to um, read the text message you sent. I'm not going to do it. I see the look on your face. I'm not going to actually what do text it. text message? But I would really like to read the text message you sent me when you got home from Veldhoven, the Junior World Championships. Because... I don't even know what... Oh, then I maybe I should read it. What message? What? Just tell me the general gist. What was the, what was the gist? Well, I'll read it, and if we don't want to include it, we'll just delete it. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm a little terrified. Well, it's going to kind of expose you a little bit. <laughs> not because, John! Well, I should read it to you, and then we can, we can decide. It's not a big deal to cut it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, here it is. <laughs> No. Where the hell is this? Okay. So you sent me a photo of you guys with your medals from the BAM. Mm-hmm. You and Khan, mm-hmm. gold medals. Like what? Mm-hmm. Like how do we? How are we winning gold medals? Mm-hmm. Like amazing. And then, uh, like kind of like. I said, are you sure? Kind of like when, uh, when, uh, you know, Cade and Zach won the Waynesboro game. Mm -hmm. So then you send me this message on August 11th, 1159 AM. (laughs) However serious I've been in the past about bridge, I'm planning to get seriously serious this next year, like insanely serious. I want to be far and away the best U.S. Rona player next trials. So it's easy for me to find a partner. Con ages out. That was your partner for this past one. Mm-hmm. And team. And we've got a real shot at winning worlds. Mm-hmm. Would you have time slash interest in playing with me regularly or semi-regularly on Fridays? Mm-hmm. 
I mean, as someone, <laughs> like, I mean, I love getting that. Like, mm-hmm. it's so, it's so cool. Like, it just, it's so, yes. Like, I was worried because you guys didn't do that great mm-hmm. in the round robin. And I'm like, I hope that this is go. I hope this is going well for Katie. And then I get this photo of you guys <laughs> with your medals <laughs> and then this text. And I'm like, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, um, well, I mean, like, I know some players are, like, all about results. And, like, I'm not saying that results are not important. But, honestly, I don't think I'm at the point in my bridge career where I can be taking results and, like, making that. I mean, I'm so I'm still so new to bridge. Um, and because I've learned fast, there are a lot of basic concepts that I, that I never really picked up that, you know, <laughs> I have to ask. Like, I didn't learn... I had never heard of a squeeze before a couple months ago. And, and you know, we'd have team meetings and, like, Michael Schuster would just kind of start talking about something squeeze. And I was like, what are you talking about? I have no idea what's going on. Um, there's a lot of things like that. Yeah. I had no idea what a coup was until, like, you know, very short time ago. So, um, but, yeah, I, <laughs> I love learning uh, desperately, it is the the thing at the core of my being. Um, it's the thing that gets me out of bed in the morning. And I, like, Bridge has been really my first foray into, like, learning that's not, like, student in a yeah, classroom, yeah. like, academic. Yeah. Um, which has been incredible for me. Because, like, I, I've, I've been really scared. Like, uh, you know, there was a while where I was, like, Am I ever going to, like, am I just a student? Like, am I just a good student? Yeah. Does, do these, you know, skills and passions not translate to the real world? Mm. Like, when I graduate, mm. am I going to be, like, you know, unhappy or, yeah. like, not not as good um, at things? And, like, Bridge is, like, the first time where I felt like this is not classroom studying and, like, I'm learning so much, like, Mm. so fast. There's Mm. absolutely no, like, everyone that I meet, like, wants to help me learn more, which has been incredible, like, to any extent that they have that ability. There's no, like, guardrails. Like, I can learn. Like, if I want to learn at an insane pace, like, I can do that. Um, And, like, I'm I'm so grateful that I'm going to have that for the rest of my life. Mm. Um, But, yeah, I... (laughs) I love Bridge and I want to spend a lot of time on it and I want to try really hard at it and I'd like to get better as fast as I can because that's more learning and I love that. Um, Yeah. And I think that's attractive, you know, like for me, that's attractive. Mm -hmm. Like I want to, you know, I love that you have that and I love that you want to learn and you want to Mm -hmm. play with me and I've been out of town each of the first three Fridays. So next Friday, we're playing uh, the 15th of September. We are? Are yeah, you yeah, here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here for... Okay. I should be here for several weeks, uh, maybe okay. like six weeks, six Fridays in a row. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. These postmortems, they're going to drain you dry. We haven't done the postmortem from we played in the speedball the other day, by the way. We only postmortem yeah. one hand. We postmortem one hand. Yeah. Um, I thought there were some points that we should cover. Okay. Well, maybe we can so do that after this. We won't do that on, for <laughs> you guys. Um, yeah. No, I love the postmortem. That was, it, it was actually really funny to me because like, I mean, I guess I don't have that much like context for what people normally do in a really competitive scenario like nationals. But um, I played with uh, William Hahn in the like zero to 6,000 Pa- whatever was happening at the same time as the life master pairs that okay. was like also high level but you didn't have to be a life master because yeah. <laughs> uh, i am not um and like the the way i would postmortem after those <laughs> was like i i mean i thought that everybody would like have their hand records out and also be like crazy postmorteming and like a lot of people weren't um and i mean whatever i just kept asking you know (laughs) whoever i went out to lunch with uh (laughs) questions the entire time and right up until like the next set started (laughs) 
Um, but yeah, I love the postmortem. I love, I mean, that's, that's when you get to ask questions, like sitting at the table and trying to figure out things on your own. It can be really rewarding. Um, uh, like when you can sit at the table and like tell yourself, like, I really care about every single hand. Like I'm going to try to keep perfect count. Like I'm soak up every piece of information, not let it go, not drop it. I'm going to know the end position. Like, um, those are, those are great. Those are great times. And obviously you learn so much from those, but I really love asking questions. Mm. Um, cause I think, yeah, I think that's where like, I, I, the point where I am in my bridge learning trajectory, that's where I get the most. I mean, I don't think, I mean, uh, like there are people that are way beyond me in bridge, but I don't think it stops. You know, I think that's one of the great things about bridge is mm -hmm. like the opportunity to talk about the game mm -hmm. and to learn from people that are, you know, have more experience and, and sometimes it's so obvious to them. Mm -hmm. And, but that's, that's, that's how, you know, that's how we learn is through, through and sometimes it can be frustrating you know the postmortem because you want <laughs> your thing to be right mm. and then people are like no that's <laughs> right. but sometimes you know you do something better than the than the better players and that's mm. always that's what makes bridge a good game is uh <laughs> you know the that it's not a game of perfect information and yeah it's you know yeah uh what Anything else? Any any areas that I did not uh, cover that I should have asked you about? Um, you know, I have a bet with Giorgio Casanovi, who's the faculty mentor for the Georgia mm -hmm. Tech program. We've got a oh gosh significant bet <gasps> about UVA winning the <laughs> Collegiate Bowl, and I think the next. <gasps> I think it was 10 years. Oh, so I think it's 10 years. So done. I think we've got eight years left on that. So done. Um, no, seriously. I mean, this is bulletin board material for the other schools, by the way, <laughs> they're going to be listening to this. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I mean, look, not that I have like an incredible handle on like Georgia tech and their scene. Like, uh, I mean, I don't, <laughs> but, um, you like, UVA bridge is going to be really big. Like, like the way that we are, the way that we are progressing is like incredible. Um, the rate at which people are getting better and how many people care and how much they care about bridge is incredible. And it's like, I mean, it's more than just a bridge club, you know? Um, it's like a social club. I actually, so, um, our um, social chair committee, whatever that I was talking about earlier. So some of them are doing the social media. Some of them are planning socials. And we've got mm. like running club mixers, UVA mm. trumpets mixers. We've got like mug night, which is like you make cakes in a mug or something. I have no idea. But there's a lot of that going on. It's like it's it's going to be like really, really cohesive and really big. And a lot of these kids are really, really interested in becoming like better like yeah. I even some of these kids who have I've just taught like in the past couple of weeks like I can tell some of them are gonna get really into it because yeah. they just they're just the kind of person that bridges they're really well suited to bridge like I can tell they've already got the bug but um but yeah I mean <laughs> I don't know do you know how old Bruce Yu is uh yeah he's well is he's he under 21 age? i don't know oh, he's, a, he's at georgia tech uh is anybody telling you to pump the brakes on bridge pump the brakes yeah. no nobody nobody's like no. I, look i mean maybe <laughs> I, I mean okay well i will say this so for example uh Cade's mother yeah um the uh, the impression that i've gotten at least <coughs> is that she you know, wants to make sure that he's focusing on his studies and not spending all his time playing bridge. Right. Um, and like, I mean, my parents have never, my parents, <laughs> I mean, they're incredible parents. They're not really like worried about what I'm doing. I mean, you're so like, like happily doing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's and, gotta be exciting. It's exciting for me, but I'm yeah. a bridge player, you know? Yeah, I mean, most people think it's really cool. 
honestly. Um, yeah, that's I, I don't need a party trick because I just t- say the word bridge and everybody instantly thinks I'm cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, yeah, no, I, everybody I talk to about it is just really interested by it. And like, it's not like the kind of, be, the way that I'm interacting with it, um, because I'm not gonna lie, like there is a lot of holding up in my room and like studying, like playing speedballs and postmorteming with people uh-huh. and like just, you know, playing all the time the way I can get it, which there's a lot of online, but I'm also making like very real stuff that has like real consequences and like, you know, UVA bridge, like who's playing bridge. That's very, like, that's an incredible, like, I'm really proud of that. Like, I honestly think that that's probably the thing that I'm proudest of in my life. Mm. Like, I I can't even believe Mm. that I started something and it's, become yeah. this and like we still have two more years yeah to grow um yeah but yeah i mean watch we're gonna have like eight uva kids and usbf by the end of the year and we're gonna take two full teams to toronto and i mean they're both gonna qualify <laughs> um no but tell yeah. us about winning the board of match oh my god <laughs> that was what a funny what a funny event Um, yeah, so, I mean, who's on your team, the board, the board match team, it was basically our team, uh, all six. Well, except that Katie Huang, um, had to leave early. Yeah. Um, after we didn't queue because her family was also in Europe. Mm -hmm. Um, and so she had to leave. (laughs) And somehow we convinced Jacob Freeman to play with us. Um, I have no idea how how we managed that, but we did, um, which like was incredible. He played with Cecilia Ehrlichman like instead of instead of Katie, and they just like had a total pickup partnership. Um, but yeah, I Who mean, did Morgan play with Morgan played oh, with Jessica. Jessica. Okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah, um, and y'all just rolled them. Did you win by a lot? Like, were you surprised? Did you think you had? How many days was the event? Uh, I think it. I think it was three. I think it was three. But Khan and I didn't play the last day, so Mm. um, yeah. But um, but yeah, it was. (laughs) It was. It was. It was definitely a funny kind of thing. I told Jacob like he needed to, you know, update his bridge winners and put that as his <laughs> proudest accomplishment or whatever the prompt is yeah take, uh, take down the picture of him and uh what's his name the kid from the netherlands that he, yeah winning the gold medal mm-hmm. the yeah Paris. replace it with <laughs> what uh what okay last question mm-hmm. or last topic you want to start a tournament at uva Mm-hmm. Like for the other oh collegiate, collegiate tournament teams. yeah 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 I mean because like so okay so having youth in the bridge world yeah. right this is something that's really important to me like I'm proud of what I've done at UVA um, I want there to be a collegiate club but I don't think a collegiate club like in and of itself brings youth into the bridge world. Mm. Um, that's part of why I'm trying to get kids to go to locals and go to nationals. Um, but there definitely is some level of like, I mean, my favorite part of nationals was definitely being able to connect with other kids who played bridge across the country who were my age, you know? Um, that was a really big draw. I don't know if I would have loved it as much if I had gone to play with, you know, people you know much older than me um but i think there can be kind of like a baby step um which would be something like hosting a uva like collegiate tournament um especially and the reason like that i started thinking about this in the first place a while ago was because a lot of these other clubs have like way bigger uh spending budgets than we do like they have like tens of thousands of dollars um so they have much more ability to travel than we do um and trying to get to those collegiate tournaments like it's gonna be hard like no matter how many people we try to bring or like what we try to coordinate like we're gonna have to 
definitely work to try to make all that travel happen. Um, but, you know, maybe these other clubs have some more ability to do that than we do. Also, UVA is just like incredible. Charlottesville is one of the best places I've ever lived. I love it. And um, like people would have so much fun if they like came and spent a weekend in Charlottesville. It's like UVA is the most joyful, most wonderful place to be. What, Seriously. When, when are you thinking this? When is it, when it, what's your target date? I think it would have to be. Well, so if Georgia Tech does like a spring thing, yeah. and I'm, maybe I'm going to have to get a better sense from like the community, uh, like talk to some of, you know, my network of yeah. Bridge Club presidents across the country. Um, but if they do a spring thing, I feel like fall 2024 gives us a lot of time to plan it, yeah. to get it set in place, still be able to like, have an announcement at like sure. at Toronto. Right. Um, and you'll go to Georgia tech and see what that's like. Right. Right. In right. The, in February. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to make that happen. That's yeah. Happen. Okay. Yeah. I mean, good. It's happening. So, and we're going to beat them. So <laughs> does that count? Does that fulfill your bet? If we beat them at their own turn? No, it's just, <laughs> we need to win the collegiate. Yeah. Bowl. Yeah. No, it'll happen. I, I can't promise that it'll happen while I'm here, but, um, I hope that I'm setting up something that has a lot of yeah. longevity, not least because John, I, I am like, I met so many, like one of my favorite things about going to the Netherlands was like all of the youth in the, like from the U S mm -hmm. that I met who are like younger than me, like, um, they're most of them still in high school. Yeah. Um, most of them like younger than my sister, which like, I mean, they didn't feel, they didn't they com like their composure was like very impressive for how young a lot of them were. Right. Um, I want like all of them to come to UVA. Right. They yeah. should. I mean, like I, I can't express how much UVA has been one of the most incredible experiences ever. Like I'm so happy I'm here. Um, and like, yeah, if you're, if you're a junior in the bridge world, if you are interested in going to school at UVA, Come, I will make sure you have the best experience possible. Come, um, visit. come visit before. Come visit. Come yeah. visit. Check it Definitely. out. Definitely. That would, oh, that would be my biggest advice about college too. I got basketball tickets. Yeah. Come for a basketball Ooh. game. We'll take you to a basketball game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a recruiting trip. Yeah, and then you know, eventually you can take over UVA Bridge and you can help John win his bet because it's only for a dollar. Be done. Well, I mean, these are st high stakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, that's how I, I knew i had to go to uva because i had a friend who's a year older than me and mm -hmm. i would come visit and hang it mm -hmm. hang out with him at his fraternity and yeah i'm like i gotta go there that's, yeah that's the place yeah. i want to go well to i mean yeah i've got the sorority so <laughs> boom boom uh-huh all right so fall 2024 mm -hmm. uva collegiate tournament yep uh we got the we got a lot of stuff on the horizon mm-hmm uh, I'm so happy that you're in Charlottesville, <laughs> that we're friends, that we're playing on the 15th mm -hmm. and then a lot of weeks after that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Katie's got a great article on Bridge Winners <laughs> about starting a collegiate club. She's a resource for other mm -hmm. clubs. And uh, thanks a lot. I'm so, yeah. Thanks love, for having me. I'm, you're, I mean, I'm so glad that you're <laughs> here and that we're bridge partners. Me too. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>